Hey there all you girl travelers, namaste. Today I'm gonna share a video with you on how to eat with your hands when you're in India. Now many first time travelers to India are often surprised to find out that eating with your hands in India is okay. You would use this as you might use a utensil. This could be a scoop, it could be used to mix food up as well as to shovel it back into your mouth. Whether it's due to resourcefulness or the fact that it's culturally acceptable or even the idea that eating with your hands um, gives the food more flavor. A large part of the Indian population eat with their hands. When you eat with your hands, it actually tastes better. Coming from a country in which eating with your hands is not culturally acceptable, is taboo, is bad form, bad manners, your parents didn't raise you right, the idea of eating with your hands might be a little bit of a struggle. Do not eat with your fingers. As well as you might not know, if you're doing it right. Rule number one, be patient with your fingers. I always have a mental block about eating with my hands and it usually takes me a while or several tries each time one more finger gets added in there. It's kind of like hiking up your skirt as you walk through the mud. You don't want to get things dirty. A lot of things lift themselves up. This is a nice mudra right here. But the next try, I've inserted three fingers. Still not quite using your hands but it's getting there. I will graduate to the four prong rule here. Now this is a little better. Um, four fingers, that means I can mix things up and I can definitely scoop them. However, if I'm eating something like rice and curry, a lot of times that's just kind of dripping through my fingers. You still got this little uh, teacup pinky standing out there all alone. Using all five fingers is kind of like, I think the ideal way to eat with your hands when you're in India. And that's because you can mix the food around, scoop it up, make sure that you have them, your your rice and your curry balled up in your hand and you throw it back. Um, this has been the most effective uh, form of eating with your hand. Number two, which hand do you use? This hand is the hand that you eat with. This is the hand you pass things with. This is, this is the clean hand. The rule that you have to remember is always use your right hand or never use your left hand. This is your toilet paper hand. It's used to clean up things. And in India, sometimes it is your toilet paper. Number three, because you're getting your hands all dirty, how do you clean up? Sometimes street food hawkers will have at least a pitcher of water at their stand and that's so that you can kind of like wash your hand when you're done. If you go to a small cafe or restaurant, they might have a wash basin for you in which you can wash your hands. Now there are Western, more Western cafes out there as well as restaurants and they'll offer tissues. But the next thing to remember is number four. Try not to be a princess. A lot of times these vendors, they're making very little money on the food itself. So by asking them to give you a napkin or something extra, that's them losing money because they have to buy these things in order to give them to you. If I'm buying like a five rupee samosa and that's all I'm buying and I ask for a tissue, or maybe put it in a bag for me so I can take it away. All of these things that I'm asking for require the vendor to take out of pocket more money in order for me to have them when I walk away. As a result, because I've already experienced some of these things, I always carry extra takeout bags with me or I bring in my own Ziplocs. If I am going to ask the vendor to do a takeaway and you know bag it up then I'll try to make it worth their while and I'll order a few more things to go so that they're not just bagging up one little thing. Additional tips that you might want to remember or choose to remember is if you're going to eat with your hands take baby white tissues they are very helpful. You won't find it a common thing sold in India so I would definitely bring them with you. Um, try to make sure that they're biodegradable. There are very few trash receptacles in India. A lot of people just throw their trash on the ground. Also take hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizers are good. For... There's been some questions from some of you about how I eat street foods without getting sick. I decided that I'm gonna do a separate video for that, eating street food tips or something like that. But anyways, I'll probably be doing a video on that hopefully soon. So it takes me a little while to edit things um, because I wanna make sure that everything's meaningful to you. Uh, let me know what are some things that you'd be interested in seeing on this channel. I'm trying to get things out there as soon as possible. Same time, I'm always precious about quality and content. Um, if you like 
some of the cultural insights I bring to some of my videos. Let me know what works for you. Just kind of like give me a little feedback. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You did. 